Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we're getting back to the next part of Martha is Dead. All right, guys, it has been three weeks or longer. I'm not actually sure. And a lot has happened in these three weeks, and I'm really sorry that I haven't recorded, but I'm going to try to make this quick. To start off with, I got COVID. Again. And the reason I didn't do another COVID Katie segment uh, which, if you haven't watched, I guess I could link down below. It's a little embarrassing. Um, I got COVID back in, like, October, and now I got it again. And it's not because I'm not boosted, guys, because some of you asked me that last time. I am boosted, actually. Um, but I work in a very small office, and one of my coworkers got it and then gave it to everybody. So literally everyone in my office had COVID, and we all had to work remotely from home, and that was just fantastic. Actually, it kind of was. It wasn't that bad. This time, I did not lose my smell. Um, last time, I didn't lose my taste either, but this time, I didn't lose my smell or my taste. I just felt super sick. I was really, really tired. I basically just slept the entire week that I was in my room. <laughs> that's, that's about it. it. It wasn't very interesting, but yeah, I, I had COVID again. Then, the week after that was my birthday. I'm 29 now. I am so fucking old. <laughs> and I had a lot planned for my birthday week. This is my last year of being in my 20s. So I went to New York City with my friends. I ended up going to Salem um, with one of my other friends. And it was just a very jam-packed week of shit. <laughs> Um, so that was good. And guys, I have another fucking surprise. I am now playing on a PS5. I got a fucking PS5. <laughs> I was literally like this poor game, guys, this poor game. Martha is dead was so fucking laggy on my computer and I complained about it and I complained about it. And so then I got it for PS4 and it, it looks a lot better. And now I have a PS5 and I'm so fucking happy and I'm so excited. And now we're playing Martha is dead on a PS5. We have come so past full circle that we have surpassed the circle and created a new circle and this is the this is absolutely the best i'm gonna shut up now um i have no idea what's going on in this game it has been literally three weeks since i've played it and i thought to myself why go back why go back and watch the original video that i posted three weeks ago why look up a walkthrough and just see where i left off no because in Katie fashion, we don't do that. We are just going to roll with the punches. So let's get started. All right, you guys, here we are back again in this bathroom. I do not remember what the fuck we were doing. Uh, I do remember waking up. Oh, I got a key. What the hell is that for? Um, I do remember waking up uh, after drowning in this bathtub. Right. Cool. Um, but I have a key, which maybe it goes to actually to this door that's been locked this whole time, so we can check that. Let me just look around. Can't grab my bag. Ooh. It is creepy in here. Guys, this is so different from episode one. Remember how bright and, like, cheery it was in this place? And now... Ooh, can I open this? Oh, is it the key to this? It is. July 16th. Dear sister, I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I am no longer there with you. First of all, I am not deaf and I never was. Excuse me? Mother scared me when we were little so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. It worked. In fact, Mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. Neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. So she blamed it on us. She pretends to be deaf and then says, oh, it's because my twin was pressing on my fucking skull. <laughs> That's kind of rude. And like that, my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. So I must put it right. Mm. Do I have any other secrets? 
Unfortunately, yes, but a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. I have a hidden recording. Listen to it and you will hear my voice. That's Farewell, wild. Martha. Why all of this madness, Martha? What else have you been hiding from me? You deprived me of your voice for more than fifteen years. I can't wait to hear it now. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Oh, I'm already in the dark room. Okay. That's wild! If she... She! Now I just... I'm, I'm just like baffled at this because now I feel like she probably has a lot of secrets that we don't know about. Like, maybe she was hooking up with our boyfriend. Maybe she did write that letter to our mother and tell our mother that we were pregnant. I was thinking, why would our sister do that? She's a little shady. There is nothing here. Uh, is this... It looks like a trash can lid, but okay. If her voice is on this, and she did not hide it very well, it's literally sitting right there on the shelf. Anybody could have picked this up. Hi, Julia. I know that this will seem absurd, but this is me and this is my voice. Well, you didn't hide it very well. We're equals in this sense, too. Well, it's obvious, really. I've basically always spoken, and you were my voice. I'm going to meet my fate, so I don't want there to be any more secrets between us. <gasps> Jesus Christ. What is going on? Who is that? What is going on? Hello? Is that Martha? Or am I playing as Martha? Am I in a different outfit? I can't tell. Maybe I am. Wait, am I Martha? Is this the dress she died in? Should I shut the fuck up? I don't know. No, because Martha, that's her bed. So she that must be Martha. Anyway. I have to tell you that I'm... I'm pregnant, Julia. I'm pregnant with Lapo's baby. What the we had fuck? sex, and I never had the courage to tell you. I was so afraid of hurting you. I'm so ashamed. And now, how can I ever bring this child into the world? The baby is starting to show. Could you tell? That's why I'm no longer getting undressed in front of you. But for how much longer can I hide it? Yesterday, you asked me to go to the lake together early in the morning. You, the sleepyhead. Early, I asked you to switch beds with me, like we used to when we were little girls. I got up at dawn and didn't wake you. I put on one of your dresses. Guys. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop talking. Is everybody else freaking out? Because I'm freaking out. She planned this whole bullshit. That's me over there. That's, I'm sorry, what's my name? Julia. That's Julia over there. And I'm Martha. I wrote a card to mother telling her that it was you who was pregnant, not me, and to come and see at the lake. I left it on the desk in her room. Why would she do this? Also, wasn't Lapo our boyfriend, or am I wrong about that? Like, what? There they are, sleeping. Then I felt the need to talk to you, and I remembered the recorder in the dark room. I wonder, is there anything different? This painting isn't painted yet.
This is crazy, man. And not what I was expecting. I don't really know what I was expecting. I will go to the lake alone and act as you. I will tell her everything you never had the courage to tell her. I will be your voice. I know how much she's made you suffer over the years. Unlike you, I remember all of the harm she has done to you, and it is my fault. Take my place, sister. You will live a better life, and I will be able to rest in peace, knowing that I at least try to put right what I have done wrong. I will go now. My last memory will be the image of you sleeping peacefully. All right. Hi, Julia. I was upset, unbelievably upset. July 16th, that cursed day. Martha didn't wake me up. So this is kind of crazy. We're like going back in time a little bit now. It was late. Martha hadn't woken me up as we had agreed. And I always overslept. Martha wasn't there and we were supposed to go to the lake together. She even made her bed, which was unusual. I thought Mother woke up early, despite her medication, and asked her to do something. There was a dress missing from my wardrobe. Guys, this game getting creepy. I simply decided to go out and take the photographs by myself without Martha. Come on, click the door. There we go. Tell me I don't have to walk all the way to the fucking lake, though. Not looking forward to that. Are our parents still sleeping? Yeah. Just dad's in bed. Mom is up. Probably off being a bitch somewhere. Well, I can't really do anything else here, and there's nothing else to click on. So I guess... It was a foggy morning, but it was no longer dawn. It was a sign of something terrible. Alright, I'm going to the lake. Oh, thank god I didn't have to walk My there. mother had killed her beloved Martha with her own hands. I had then taken her place, usurping the throne of her affection. She would have never forgiven me. I had real reason to be afraid. So, that's where the mom was. The mom went down to the lake to see Julia's pregnant body, and then killed her. I searched for one of Daddy's pistols to defend myself. What a stupid little girl I was. In spite of everything, that roll of film still needed developing. Even if it didn't prove she was guilty, I also wanted to search for proof of Martha's pregnancy. Dude. All right. Also, does anybody... The graveyard, six days after Martha's death. Does anyone else notice a difference now that I'm playing it on PS5? I feel like I see a slight difference, but then again, it's been three weeks, so I don't fucking know. It does look really beautiful. 
Um, but maybe that's because it's daytime again. <laughs> Alrighty, so our map has no circles on it, so it doesn't tell us where to go. Um, let's see. Ooh. 21st of July. Lapo is dead. They shot me in the back when I discovered his body. Didn't I already read I this? I thought I had hit rock bottom. These are soulless, empty days. After so many awful events, I finally managed to meet the White Lady. Or so I believe. The line between reality and dreams is becoming less and less clear to me. I thought a lot about her words, but they didn't shed any light on my assumptions. They kept ringing in my mind. Maybe I will understand when the time comes. Now I know for certain that it was Mummy who killed Martha, when she thought that she was me. Only a week ago, all of this would have seemed impossible. I just need to find the proof, so she can pay for what she has done. Hell yeah. Let's find the fucking proof, man. Um, alright, so we got tarot cards. Let's just do that quick. I mustn't care about what people think. Or fear will prevent me from facing the music. It will be very difficult to recover from the mental collapse. Ooh, I can pick more. Destiny is inevitable. The end waits for us. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's find some proof. German divisions face the troops of the Eighth Army. Units of an Indian division crossed the River Pesa on a vast front, and they advanced two kilometers south of Monte Lungo. Meanwhile. The New Zealand units have reinforced their positions that run from San Michel to La Romola. Near La Romola, the Michelangelesque villa of the E family, where General K was staying, was bombed. The by radio the needs to be kept on at Luckily, all times these the days. It can save your life knowing things on time, especially before they happen. La Romola has been the site of graphic barbarity. A farm was stormed and animals were stolen and killed. General Edic K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vicenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. <laughs> Guys, I forgot. My main mission last video was to make some fucking phone calls. <laughs> and I still haven't gotten a chance to do it. And I think today's the day. Oh, today has finally come. Oh. 400 ISO film. It comes into its own shooting clouds and indoors. Okay. Nice. So there is a little picture taking icon right here. So let me get my camera out and snap a photo of this. Properly exposed. I just need to put it into focus. In focus. That's it. Hopefully the image comes out clearly. All right. Telegram. I'll leave it in the letterbox. Oh my god. Have a good day. There's like an actual person Another here. Telegram of condolence. Wait. Isn't it a bit late? <gasps> oh my god. This is like our first time seeing like a moving person. I feel like I haven't seen like actual people like being people in this game yet. <laughs> uh, okay, we got our newspaper. God, I feel like there's so much stuff I have to do that I have not done. The New Zealanders conquer Tavernelli in the eastern sector of the battlefront. The troops of the 2nd New Zealand Division, British 8th Corps, conquer Tavernelli. The 6th South African Armoured Division advances on the heights near Greve, conquering the peaks of the Domini and Philly Mountains. The 4th Division reaches San Giovanni. 
Sorry guys, uh, since now that I'm on the PS4, all of my little trophies I get are popping up on the screen. If that's annoying for you, let me know and I'll turn it off. Um, so what did she just read? Did she read the top one or? Bombings. Damage caused by the bombings between Florence and Siena continues to increase. After the disaster at Poggibonsi, rubble and power cuts are the order of the day. Attack on Hitler. After an attack carried out by a group of traitors, Hitler's words are, In having escaped, I see a sign of the duty incumbent on me to continue my work. Sabotage of the phone lines in La Romola. Telephone cables have been cut, causing danger to general safety. That's me. Any damage to the information service facilities is punishable by death. They're gonna kill me? I did that. All right. Uh, oh, I did get a letter in the post box. Dear Mrs. Irene K., Following your call, we have received a telegram from Dr. D. Your request has been accepted. As soon as the police station issues authorization, we will send for the girl. While we wait, to avoid the girl taking any extreme actions, as per the fears you have expressed, we ask that you trust in the advice of her treating physician. I thank you for your generous and charitable donation to our institution. Director S. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital. Telephone 0782. Now that she has discovered everything, she wants to lock me up in an asylum. Or maybe even worse, she wants to kill me and have everyone believe it was suicide. She is preparing all the finer details. Oh my god, our mother is a murderer and she's going to lock us up so that we never tell anybody. Um, I feel like I picked this up already. Yeah, it's because I'm playing on a new game. I haven't picked up new skins yet. Anyway. Well, I'm not playing on a new game, but I'm playing on a, a new system. Anyway. You guys, uh, remember, the telephone can be used by dialing numbers discovered. Yes, it can. Commune of San Casciano, Province of Florence, Death Certificate. From the Register of Death Certificates of this Commune, Number 174, Part 3, Series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died, resident of Via Perciabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the Six, daughter five, of General Erich K. and Irene K. Don Attilio D. will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M., who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo T. Alright, so I feel like we read that in one of the previous parts, but maybe not... All right, are all the phone numbers written in my notebook? Because I can't remember shit. So these are all of our different objectives. We got the strange note. I found this note among mommy's things. Go to the cemetery. I must check Martha's body at the cemetery. Okay. Um, why have they locked my childhood room? So we need to find the keys for that. In the letter, the nanny does not say where she left the keys. They had a pink key ring attached to them. Um, let's see, the gothic line, I must take a photo of the map in Daddy's studio and bring it to the agreed place. I have to print that photo. Number 6934. Um, let's see, the gothic line. So I cut the communication cable, I used that number, and now I need the gothic line. Okay. The telephone, ah! Here's all of my phone numbers. You can now use the telephone to make calls. And I had forgotten I had a roll of film in that dress. It might have captured the moment of Martha's murder. Develop the photo. 
Um, all right, here's some phone numbers. We got the cemetery. Let's just start at the top. Six, five, three, seven. Let's see. Six. Act as mother, act as yourself. I'm calling the cemetery? Hello, it's at NAK. Yeah. Yeah, what, what do you want from me? I just realized the phone call is coming out of my controller, so I don't even know if you guys can fucking hear this. If my speaker is picking it up. <laughs> Be calm. Be angry. How dare you, you disrespectful cretin! Filthy traitor, huh? He must be going crazy. I don't believe for one second that Mummy would let him treat her this way. Sheer madness. Okay, how the hell do I change this setting? <laughs> Audio... speaker? No. Yeah, I think that'll help. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, what do we got next? Uh, we got the shop, 6539. I should try again. Does that not say 6539? Five, 6539. Five, hmm. 6539. Five, I must have the wrong number. Okay, maybe I just can't fucking read, but I think that's what that says down there. Anyway, haberdashery 6987. Hello, Maria speaking. How may I help? Act as mother, act as a friend, and I'm calling the haberdashery. Act as mother's friend, act as mother. I want Hello, to be Maria, mom. it's Irene K. What is this, some sort of bad joke? I know Irene very well, and you are definitely not Irene. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Should I call back? <laughs> is she gonna get pissed? 6987. Let's try one more time. She's gonna be like, hell no. I've already called this number. What use would there be calling again? To bother this lady? I don't know. Alright, next we got Town Hall. I don't know why we would ever call Town Hall, but... What am I going to ask at the town hall? I don't fucking know. Why'd you let me dial it then? Alrighty. Next we have the asylum. It's like, please don't come pick up my daughter. She's doing just fine, thank you. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital, how may I help you? Hello, we recently requested the admission of Julia Kay to the hospital. I just wanted to know whether it would be possible to cancel the request. I'm sorry, but the request was issued by the municipality where you reside, madam. Any revocation of the request should be passed by them. Only they can decide whether to approve of the cancellation or not. Have you already received the telegram confirming that we have taken charge of the request? Why or yes? No, I haven't received any telegram. Then you must hurry. If you go to the town hall and discuss the issue with them, they can approve the cancellation. Thank you. Goodbye, madam. Cool. Let me call the town hall back. Isn't this gameplay riveting, guys? Aren't we all having a great time? Uh, town hall, 6922. Call him back. Hello. This is San Casciano Town Hall Reception. With whom are you hoping to speak to? Speak to the mayor, ask about admission. I would like information regarding a request for admission to Volterra Hospital. Please hold the line, madam. Uh, 
Yes, hello. I would like some information regarding the request for admission of Julia Kay, my daughter, to Volterra Hospital. Yes, madam. The hospital confirmed recently that it will be sending its own staff to your house uh, for the uh, admission. The matter is no longer in our hands. Great. Hang up. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Fuck. Now who do I call now? I call... The asylum back? He says the matter's no longer in her hands. I can't read what these say. Doctor and then Carabinieri? Let's try the doctor. Six, five, nine, three. Love Romola, doctor's surgery. How may I help? Act as yourself? I don't fucking know, man. Hello, it's Julia Kay. Please wait a moment. Wait, did she just say Doctor, Julia? It's that strange girl, Irene's daughter. Hi, Julia. <laughs> yes, it's me, Doctor. It's Julia. Excuse me for. Don't worry, Julia. You needn't be ashamed. How are you? Any chest pain? Bad chest pain? Good? I. I don't know. Do I have chest pain? I'm okay, Doctor. The pain is almost gone. But Mother seems to be getting ill again. I mean, in the head, basically. I saw that she is taking that medicine again. Pervitin, I think. Irene is very shaken by everything that's happening. But I don't think there is any need to worry. I saw her recently and she's doing well, all things considered. Pervitin was made illegal in Italy a few years ago now, so I wouldn't have prescribed it to her but they say that it is still used in the army. Maybe they could give you some information at the German command. I must go now, Julia. I will come to see you soon. I don't, I don't have the German me. command's number, but I'm sure it won't be hard to find amongst father's things. Perhaps in his study? All right, so we've got to go do that. And now let me just dial this last number on here. Cabinari headquarters for the officers of San Casciano. How can I help? Hi, I was hoping to hear whether there has been any development on the investigation into the murder of Julia Kay. Wait a moment, please. Who's calling? I am Irene Kay, Julia Kay's mother. Mrs Kay, forgive me. I didn't recognise your voice. Unfortunately, I don't have any real news. We are following up on some suspects. We assume we're with the boy who was killed in the woods outside your house. They seem to be planning something else. But your husband is probably the best person to ask about that. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, madam. Well, that didn't help. Alrighty. So. So, do, should I go develop some film? Should I go get this phone number real quick from upstairs? So we could just get the phone calls out of the way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nets for catching butterflies, poor creatures. I had so much fun with them. Ew, this painting is getting creepy. Um... Upstairs. Oh, he's out of bed. There's nothing I can click on. Nothing. Let's see. Okay. It says requirements. I still haven't done the shop and I still haven't done Donatilio apparently. Even though I think I dialed both of those numbers. 6539-6938. Um, hmm. Well, I don't know where this phone number is. Ah! She leaves them everywhere. I think she's having too many and too often. I don't see it. 
All right. Well, can't go in there. We need to find out where that key is, guys. Is it like hidden up here somewhere? During deep winter, I would go to sleep snuggled by the fire and Nanny would get angry. Do you want to turn into a piece of charcoal, Julia? Daddy says that our wine, which is produced here, is extraordinary. I hate wine. I prefer beer. I do not. I like beer, but... These plates are not ours. Nanny left them here. I remember them well. Guys, I'm gonna find this key. Mummy's family coat of arms. Why do I feel like the key is just like hidden around the house somewhere? Like somewhere I haven't clicked. I don't know. Alright, let me just try these numbers one more time. Uh, which is 6539-6938. Probably the wrong number. Alright, that just doesn't work. And then 6938, which I believe I already dialed. Yes, hello. This is Donatilia. Father, you must bring justice for Lapo. You know it wasn't really him who killed Martha. I know that it wasn't Lapo, and your father already knows this. Believe me. But I can't do anything. These are dark times, my dear girl. Come to see me soon, and we will talk about it. Well, that didn't help. Alrighty. Let's go downstairs and to develop some photos. This is not where I'm supposed to go. But there's also nothing to click in here, either. Hmm. Find that key, guys. It's gonna be somewhere we least expect it. <gasps> go to the dark room now. Not when she's around. I must stay as far away from her as possible. I could go to the cemetery instead to find out whether Martha really was pregnant or not. What are you insinuating? Find out if she's pregnant or not? How the fuck am I gonna find that out, Julia? I think we all know exactly what she's saying. Can I use the bike now? My bike. The wheel is deflated as usual. A bicycle pump will solve this. Oh my god, this game is full of side quests, ain't it? I would love to ride the bike, though. Uh... Bike pump could be down here in all this junk. Well, oh, nothing to click on. Hmm. I don't see anything. What about the dead animals? Are they gone? They're still here. Probably smell like shit. I don't know, man. I feel like this is just like a Where's Waldo kind of fucking episode of like, where are the keys? Where's the bicycle pump? Should I just go to the cemetery? Even though I don't know where the hell that is. Let me look at my map. Oh, wait. Um, Mommy's in the basement. I absolutely do not want to run into her. I will develop the films later. My bicycle, perfect for visiting nearby places, but not with a burst tire. Find a pump. Who knows? Um, all right, and then it says go to the cemetery, which 
I'm guessing is the cemetery we've already been to? Hmm. Which would be this way? Ah, this cemetery. But was she buried here? No. So where's the cemetery, Julia? Okay. I am not going to go running around these woods just for it not to be here. So let's over, let's go over by the church or not the church, but you know, the building where her funeral was. And maybe there's like a, another direction we can take or something. Or maybe I have to find the bicycle pump to be able to do anything. Where's this damn pump? Wait, was there one by this bike over here? Is there one in there? I can't see. I don't know, guys. Was there one in there? <gasps> the fence is open. I can go this way now. All right, go back and look for the pump. Leave. Bicycle pump? Anything? Damn it. Well, never mind. <laughs> All right, I guess we are walking into town. How long have I been recording? 47 minutes! And I've done absolutely nothing! But isn't that usual? Isn't that normal for all of us? Well, let's try over here first. Wasn't there, like, a thing that said we are not allowed to leave the house or look out the windows or we'll be shot? And, like, is that over now? We just, like, we just... Go to the town now. Oh, that scared what me. Are these ideas that randomly pop into my head. <laughs> okay, the game does not want us to go that way. But also, have you guys seen those TikToks? Um... Where it's like pretending to be a video game and you're like walking out the door and it's like, no, I think I need to clean my room. And then they're like trying to leave and they're like, no, I think I really should turn back. That just fucking happened. Um, this is not the town, but I do want to come over here. <gasps> this is beautiful. Is this a cemetery? According to Nanny, this was an old windmill. It has been abandoned for as long as I can remember, and it has always given me the creeps. It is a little creepy. Look at these flowers. What is that? Tuscans. Throughout Italy, the people are fighting against the German invaders. Over a third of Italy has already been liberated from this loathed invader. We know that you are doing a lot to prevent the Germans from strengthening their power over you. The day of your liberation is approaching. Your freedom is certain. Your region is of the utmost importance in this war of liberation. Hinder the Germans by refusing to cooperate with them in any way. Transport is essential for the German troops and their supplies. Your region is the centre of the transport network south of the Apennines. The Triangle of La Spezia, Florence, Livorno is of great importance to the Germans and their hope to maintain a yoke over Italy. Tus okay, that was a lot of information that I didn't understand, but okay. Oh, I can't go this way. Alright, I guess we are going into town, people. We will get something done in this episode. And then I'll probably cut it. <laughs> so, uh, let's, let's try to get something done before I stop the video. Martha is in the family crypt. That place is scary. I don't remember, but 
Nanny told me we used to go there when we were kids to see who was brave enough to go down the stairs. No one would ever go further than the first two steps. Now Martha's down there, alone, in the dark. She must be frightened. Crypt is here. Not now. Let's hope the caretaker isn't around. That man gives me the creeps. Well, now it's a little less interesting because I thought this was our boyfriend, but really it was Martha's boyfriend. Unless he was my boyfriend and then he cheated on me with my sister and then got her pregnant. I don't know. This game is a lot of drama. I should water the plants. No one will do it. The caretaker clearly doesn't care. Alrighty. Where... We got a watering can, or... So, can I pick this up? Nope. A lot of names over here. Mariella. I uh, can't read that. Alfiera. Cassiana. Um... Hmm. This door is locked, but I must get in. Maybe I can find something around here to break the lock. Alrighty, so now I can go grab those uh, bolt cutters or something over there. What is this? The family crypt is locked. The key must be in the caretaker's hut, as always. Oh, here's a watering can. Once again, I have to say, there's a lot going on in this game. I feel like I'm definitely going to miss some now shit. Now that like, I have filled the watering can, I can water the plants. This is not going to be a clean playthrough. I know for sure I'm going to miss a lot. Also, I can't run anymore because I'm holding this damn watering can. <laughs> If you were in front of me, what would I say to you? That I'm angry because you were sleeping with Martha? Excuse me. No, I'm not angry. I'm sorry that you kept everything hidden from me. It stings a little, perhaps, but faced with your loss, everything is now meaningless. I'm happy that they buried you here. We'll be neighbours. I knew that Daddy would allow it even if you were fighting with the partisans. For him, this war is a stranger as it is for me. Goodbye, Lapo. We will meet again soon. So, I do think this is our boyfriend. It's time to look for Martha. Yeah, I think our boyfriend cheated. Just really fucked. Also, our sister had sex with our boyfriend. Our twin sister. That's so rude. The disrespect. These are perfect for breaking the lock. I should hurry before the caretaker comes back. Will he actually come back? I haven't seen a damn walking person in this whole game. Alright, where are the keys at? Everyone takes a side. I find myself siding with my family, but 
I'm not sure whether it is right. Instructions for the automatic telephone machine. For example, if you wish to call the number 0573, pick up the telephone from the hook and bring the receiver to your ear. You will hear a continuous tone. Firstly, place your index finger in the I hole displaying this. the number zero. Turn the disc clockwise until it stops. Let the disc return freely to its resting position. Repeat the same steps the fact for that the I numbers can't skip 5, this. 7, 3. Thank you for telling me what I already know. So late in the game. Enough. I can't go on like this any longer. I can't go on pretending nothing happened. My family was slaughtered by these dirty Nazis. My daughter wasn't even buried and I had to bury that half-blood instead. An Italian family that got cosy with the dirty Germans. Bastards, that's what they are. What am I supposed to do with my life now? I want to end it, but not without taking a few Germans down with me. You won't see me anymore, but you will hear about me. Long live the resistance. Viva Italia. Well, I don't think the caretaker will be back anytime soon. New skin. Okay. Here's the key. Alrighty. Well, I might as well see the skin. Brownie! Very cute! Alright, let's go down into the crypt. And uh, see if our twin sister is really pregnant. Because you can't take her word for anything, apparently, because she's a liar. I can see why we were scared as children. It's a rather gloomy place. Yeah, this is horrific. Ooh, this music. Um... Oh. Look at this. She still looks so normal. May God forgive me for what I'm about to do. I also pray that you, Martha, will forgive me. It's the music again, guys. Shit! There's no way she would be bleeding, but okay. Oh my god. It's a Siamese 
children. It was true. Martha was pregnant. Pregnant with a deformed fetus with two heads. Twins again. They always said that it ran in the family. I was all the more shocked. I was doing things that I had never done before. I do not know what force was moving me. I became unstoppable. I decided to photograph the horror as evidence to show my mother and to everyone. Who knows why? I'm taking a picture of this. Because this is a memory I want to experience again and again. Let's frame it. Put it on the wall. Deformed fetus on my naked sister's chest who had sex with my boyfriend. This is a lot to comprehend right now. Uh... <laughs> Guys. Okay, um, so... As we know, I'm playing on a PlayStation, which means I did not have the right to control that. I couldn't control it. I feel like if I was playing it on PC, I would have had to press all the buttons. It would have been me cutting out, cut, cutting open the stomach and taking out the fetus. I am perfectly fine that I didn't have to do that. That's not something I need to do, you know? Nope. Definitely not something. Also, taking the picture of it, I think, is almost worse for me because... Should we uh, get up nice and close? How do we feel about this? Should I get the fetus in frame? What do we think? What do we think? Enough now. I will torture you no longer. I will come back to fix you and I will stay and take care of you. We will spend so much time together. I love you, Martha. Are we gonna close it? All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this isn't funny, guys. This isn't funny, but this is actually terrifying. Doctor, I must thank you for your help. I wouldn't know what to do without you. Even our own dear Don Atilio seems to not understand the situation. Irena, please, consider the idea of leaving Italy as your husband suggested. It would be better for everyone, especially for the girl. I fear that nothing will make her better. Her father doesn't want to accept it. I believe that hope is long gone. I agree, but in Germany there are better treatments in specialized clinics. The asylum is a temporary solution just to ensure that she doesn't do anything foolish. But it's a nightmarish place. You know that all too well. You cannot possibly want this for your daughter. Of course I don't. But what can I do? She is a danger to herself, to us, to everyone. One of Eric's guns has also disappeared. She must have taken it. Who else could it have been? I am so scared, Doctor. I cannot wait any longer. Also, you know what they think of Italians in Germany, don't you? But you would be with Erich, an esteemed general. Everyone will respect you. That cursed girl. Where could she be? Let's hope she doesn't play any more foolish stunts. I'll wait for her here, in the cellar. Sooner or later, she'll go to the dark room. That's for sure. I would gladly stay and keep an eye on her. But I must rush to town to organize the last few things for her hospitalization. Thank you, Doctor. Don't worry. We'll see you later. And it's now starting me here, covered in blood, walking into the basement. Can I leave? Of course I can't. Oh, God. All right, guys, I am going to leave it here for now. I'm sorry to leave it on this very serious cliffhanger, covered in my sister's fetus blood. Um, but... I feel like the next part, we're going to end up going to the asylum, and I think that should be its own separate video. So I'm going to stop for now. 
wow, this one was a doozy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.